Hi guys, it's Asia. Can you write band 9 sentences in your IELTS writing task too? Of course you can. I'm gonna show you how to do it in three easy steps. But before we dive in, you may ask, do I really need to write those complex sentences? The answer is yes. To get band 6 for your grammar, you need to use a mix of simple and complex sentences. And to get band 7, you need to use a variety of complex sentences. And right now, I'm going to show you how to create a band 9 sentence from a simple idea. And the idea is cars cause air pollution. Step number one. In order to make the sentence complex, we need to add at least one more sentence into this one. Ask yourself these questions. Why? Why do cars cause air pollution? Where do they cause it? How do they cause it? When do they cause it? And think what you could add. I chose the question why. Why do cars cause air pollution? Because their engines emit CO2 or carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This is already a complex sentence. Let me show you something. Let's copy it to the next slide. You could swap both parts of the sentence and say, because cars emit CO2 into the atmosphere, they cause air pollution. If you noticed, this sentence has a comma, while the first one doesn't. That's because the sentence begins with a dependent clause. That's a part of the sentence that depends on the other part. You can't just say because cars emit CO2. You must continue your sentence. It's easy to remember. When your sentence starts from because, although, while, if, until, when, you need a comma. Whenever the dependent clause comes first, you separate it with a comma. If these words are in the middle of the sentence, you don't need a comma. Let's come back to our sentence and look at the second step. Now we can go even further and add an opening to our sentence. For example, some people say, it's often considered, uh, some people think, and other similar phrases. For example, it's well known that cars cause air pollution because their engines emit CO2 into the atmosphere. We still don't need any commas here. You could stop here because it's already a complex sentence that would be great for your IELTS writing task too. But if your English is advanced enough, you could add a relative clause to this sentence. Relative clauses help us give extra information about a person, a place or a thing. We do this by using relative pronouns like who, which and that. I want to add a bit more information about cars and say that they remain the most popular means of transportation. Here is our new sentence. It's well known that cars, which remain the most popular means of transportation in many countries, cause air pollution because their engines emit CO2 into the atmosphere. Pay attention to commas. The sentence we've just added is not necessary here. It simply adds extra information. That's why we put commas before and after the relative clause. That's how we wrote a highly complex sentence in three easy steps. Do you think you could write a sentence like this? Try and post your sentence in comments below. And if you do it in the first 24 hours after this video is published, I'm going to check your sentence and correct mistakes. 
I also want to make sure that you don't think that all your sentences have to be complex. You can use a combination of simple and complex sentences and get a top score. Just make sure that all your sentences are grammatically correct and are easy to understand. If ever in doubt, use this rule. Simple and correct is better than complex and wrong. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more IELTS preparation videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click this little bell button twice to get notified when new videos go live. Thank you so much for watching me again. Good luck with your preparation. Bye!